What's going on guys? We're out here talking about long range shooting today. Specifically, talking about leveling our scope. What's very important when we talk about long range shooting is to make sure that our scope and our rifle are, on this, are falling on the same plane, the fall of gravity, okay? So what's gonna happen when this bullet leaves the barrel is that it's gonna fall straight down towards the center of gravity, which is the Earth. But if we cant our scope in any direction, right? Let's say, let's exaggerate it a little bit, right? What's happening is that you can see that your turrets are across, right? Just like so, They're, they work on two perpendicular planes. So when you adjust your dial or you use your reticle to hold, what's gonna happen is that you're expecting, or your scope is expecting your trajectory to follow that line, but your, but your rifle is not. Your rifle is gonna fall straight down towards the earth, regardless of where your scope is, okay? So if you don't have a scope level, and you don't know that there's minor imperfections, right? Take a look at the bubble. If you don't know that there's minor imperfections in how you're canting your rifle, it's very easy to miss targets, mostly off of windage, but there's a slight elevation error too. But it's very easy to compound errors in, in windage calls uh, based on, on canting your rifle. A, a quick example is about three degrees of error, which is almost unseeable by the human eye, is going to move a 308 round about two to three feet at 800 yards. So when we're talking about distances beyond 500, 600, 700, um, on small targets and on those ranges, you could be you know, in, inputting small errors that can compound themselves and cause you to say, what is going on when you're missing the target at long ranges? Thanks for watching, guys.